Do you want to see me? Mm-hmm. How bad? Really bad? Do you see what I'm like? Yeah. You show me? Dude, hot house out there tonight, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Trying to get fucked? Me? Uh, yeah, I guess probably. <laughs> Me too. Cool. A lot of babes out there. A lot of babes and one baby. What? Do you want to see my baby? No. No, I don't want to see your dick, man. No, man, not my dick. My, the baby on my chest. But if you want to see my dick, you can. I've seen yours. No, I'm good. Do you want to see his dick? Uh, excuse me, how are you doing tonight? Good. Can we buy you a drink? You and the baby? Yeah, the baby will be paying. Why do you have a baby in a bar? Why do you have fake tits? I don't. Then prove it. Show me your tits. Hey, a bartender, can I get two beers? One for me and one for my roommates? I can't serve a minor. Come on, man, he just got evicted. He was literally living in a pussy palace. Now this? Yeah, that's tough, but I can't. Excuse me, I just had to ask, does your pussy look like your face? You know, mediocre. Hi. 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 So you've met my friend. Hi, bye, 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 bye. Hello. It's a nag. I just negged you. Hi. Over here, up here. Oh. Up here. My face is up here. So do you want to go back to my place and fuck me and this baby? Are you on Tinder? Because I'm pretty sure I masturbated to your account. Is that baby dead? No, he's just asleep. Wait, do you want him dead? I think a lot of people here are on Tinder. I masturbated to her. I'll kill him if you fuck me. That guy got in my account somehow, like they threw a guy in there randomly, so I masturbated to his. Then don't joke about a dead baby, you fucking idiot. Oh, he's into fucking fucked up shit. This dude taught me most of the weird stuff I know. You know what Bukaki is? Do you want to go back and blow me and this baby? To my place, you can blow me and then blow the baby. I don't like to get blown after somebody else. So I demand that I go first. Hi. Hey. Cute baby. Hi. Thanks. What's his name? Who the fuck cares? It's a fucking baby, all right? So just call it baby. Now fucking get your fucking trash bag. Trash bag? You brought a baby into a bar. And you brought trash in a bag. Yeah. <sighs> you want to fuck a baby? So what if I did? It's a baby. I think she wants to fuck you. Baby, I'm gonna get you fucking laid. This baby's gonna get his fucking dick fucking soaked. Brother, can you help me out get something to eat? Hey, brother, can you help me out get a little bit of food or something? Got the chair. I'm gonna go home and work on push ups. Push ups. I was fired from my job today. Foolish mortals, you don't like my office pranks? Well, I hope you enjoy office snakes. That's right, I introduced snakes into the office. Goodbye. Fuck, it's cold outside. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck this sheet of ice. Why do we live here? We were not meant to. This was an accident of humanity. Uh, waiting for train. Boarding train, and now riding on said train. I look at my phone. I hate this. Pictures of my co-workers with their stupid boring family on their stupid boring vacation, warm in the sun, arms around each other, smiling, splashing around. I need a vacation, an escape at least. <sighs> no money, 
spent it all on the snakes. I look out the window at the ice. I look out the window at the ice. I look out the window and my eyes stop. A pathway presents itself, an escape, I take it. The corridor is open and the floor shines like the ice sheet I'm leaving behind. I'm up, I'm up in a daydream, an imagination daydream, yes, a daydream. Sponsored by Southwest.com. Where is my mind taking me? Over the clouds and I blink. We've arrived in a land of palm trees, a warm land where the elite write demands in the sky. This one tells me to hashtag start creating, so I do. After all, in this land your imagination is a silver screen waiting to be entertained by meat puppets and muppets, late nights and date nights, views to observe and cameras to obscure, a land of Frasier scripts and diehard studio lots. It's Holly Weird. Yes, Holly Weird. Holly Weird. Holly Hanks. And it's here that you can be forever warm, with trees that melt the ice and snow and drink them up long stems, breathing out a misty air towards the coast. And I watch as it floats past the buildings to the roller coasters on the pier, whose cart zip zap zop by and brush the air into beautiful soft clouds thrown against a setting sun. And as I look out over the rooftops of the fashion celebrities, I hear the voice of God. No. It's the train conductor saying that my stop is approaching. But I'm not getting off. Not yet. I'm gonna stay right here, warm in my daydream. Right here, in Holly Weird. I thought you were Tone, I'm sorry. Hey, Tom. Hey, how you doing? I just found out my brother's a skinhead. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Does that mean he's gonna use his truck on Sunday? Oh, uh, yeah. Sunday's the big Easter egg hunt down at the mayor's house. Chow, nuts! I was supposed to borrow it for that same purpose. Do you know if anyone else has a truck that I could use for the Easter egg hunt? Uh, no, sorry, man. Well, sorry that your brother's a skinhead. Alright, player. Oh, I'm so sorry, I thought you were Tone. Hey, Tone. Are you okay? No! You know that shampoo you just gave me? Yeah, the one for old people? Look what it did to my hair! Ooh, you know boy. I got that big meeting down at the mayor's house tomorrow. You. Right. Wait! Don't cut your hair just yet! My mayor's the brother. I can probably have him do you a favor. Ask him! Ask him! Ask him! Ask him! I love hey, you. Tom. Okay. <gasps> oh, I'm ah! so sorry. I thought you were Tone. Hey, Tom. Hey, are you okay? No. You see what my girlfriend got me for Valentine's Day? Medical sex. Did you see what my girlfriend got me for Valentine's Day? Whoa. Zedex. Is that X? Huh? Zedex. Is that X? Hmm? Is that... <laughs> Hey y'all, 
Sammy D. Welcome back. Um, okay, let's get right to it. Today we're going to talk about uh, this crazy weather we're having. It's very cold. Everybody knows that we can't change it. Uh, but what we can do is stop complaining about it. And one suggestion I have is to clean our house. And we're going to start with the first place and that we're going to start with the bathroom. This is where you do all the dirty deeds. Here's where you're supposed to be getting clean. But as you can see, it can take a toll. And when you think you're getting clean, uh, let me get on that. That is soap scum right there. And uh, what that does is uh, permeates the soap here and uh, gets it really, you know, really nasty and you're not even getting clean. So what I like to use is just uh, this is called a magic eraser and it uh, does wonders for soap scum. So I'm just gonna go like this. Keep rubbing it. You can see it's starting to disappear already. And Keep doing that for about uh, you know 15 more minutes, and that play that thing's gonna look like a beauty when you get when you're done with it. And then you just apply it to the rest of your bathroom, uh, and you will see it shine, and maybe you will start to shine too. Okay, thank y'all very much. Hey, keep it down out there! Some of us want to get stuff done today? Yo, dude! Hey Tony. Hey man, I just met our next door neighbors. Uh, a couple of hot ladies. Did you get the printer? Oh, no. Uh, actually, I bought something cooler than a printer. I met a guy who sold me a genuine pair of x-ray glasses. You spent our money on x-ray glasses? There's more important things in college than printing out book reports all the time. Oh yeah, like what? Like, uh, try this one off for size. Semester. Slow ride. You take it easy. Bow down and Get ready for me, MTV Real World. Will you, um, will you cut over this with like actual guitars? Yeah. Cool. Keep going. Hey, I'm Donald Longfather. I'm 31 years old. And this is my MTV audition. Ow! 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 Are you okay? Ow! Are you okay? Yeah, just stop it. I would have started over. Okay. Okay, we're rolling. Are you Are you rolling? Yeah. Okay. Hey, hi, pleased to meet you. I'm 31 years old, Jordan Longfeather, uh, and this is my MTV edition tape. I'm gonna be on your real world. Cause this is my... I'm gonna be on your real world. Ow! Are you alright? No, ow! Please stop rolling with... Do it again, dude. Oh, you're rolling? Yeah. Hey, I'm Jordan Longfeather, and I just wanna be on MTV Real World. I'm 31 years old, and I live in Chicago. This year, I just decided I was gonna quit my job and make my full-time job working on MTV. 
No way! Look, go Cubs! This is my favorite team, number one! Are you taping? Yeah. Great. So, as you can see, this is where all the magic happens. I spend many a night here, you know what I'm talking about. Drinking beers. Every summer, ever since I was like 27 when I moved here, I've just loved this place, man. One time, I got real drunk and uh, I was um, sitting in these seats. They got these nosebleed sections up here. You can't really see them on this side because the stupid sign's in the way. But if you could see it, it's like, you're not supposed to pee up there, but I was like, whatever, man, I'm drunk. So I peed up there. I got kicked out. I'm not allowed back. I'm going to be on your, 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 your. Yeah, cool. Uh, so right over here, that's where I work, Brinkleyville Sports. I do all kinds of stuff for them. Uh, faxes, uh, t-shirt sales. Um, and sometimes we just like hang out and drink beers. It's fucking cool. But um, I actually called in sick today, so let's walk this way so that I don't have to go in front of it. Dude, did you really call in sick? I got fired. We're filming? Yeah. Cool. So anyway, this is like, it's like what my days are like. This is what my life is, man. I'm Darnold Lungfather, 31 years old, but you know, I'm still a kid at heart. I love to have fun. Please pick me for your show. I want to be on a, pick, pick me for the camera. Come on, bud. Come on, dog. Tonight, but now I want you to take this. It's a condom. You don't want no babies having babies, right? Okay? Just put that on your penis. She can help you out a little bit if you don't have the dexterity. And you know, give me a call if you feel sad afterwards, alright? It's okay, that happens. I get sad all the time. Are you guys done? I'm like sandpaper down there. Yeah. Just go easy on them, alright? Yeah, you guys like I never fucked a baby. Well, hello there. It's Emmett. You recognize me? Probably not. It's been, see, nine months since I've made one of these videos. I've been kind of on a hiatus again, this time not necessarily technology-driven hiatus, this time more of a me just not giving a fuck what people think about my opinions uh, time. Um, but I'm back because... The more I sit around on my ass, the more people say, where have you been? Haven't seen you lately. So here I am. Um, it's Wednesday right now, which sucks because it's not Friday. Can I please just go to sleep now and wake up and it'll be the weekend? Not really, but it's not that bad because I don't mind my current job situation. I guess it's not bad. I've been selling Diet Right. My uncle owns a Diet Right distri distribution company. And I've been selling it to stores and restaurants. So, you know, the drink with all the chemicals. Joy! Uh, buy now, die later. I guess could be their motto. Um, but anyway, it's not bad. I uh, have been sick lately. A little snot this winter. It's not good. Oh, God. Shouldn't be making puns at this time of night. Um, but yeah, so that's not helping my love life any. Just kind of hanging out, doing memes, taking everything in. Um, what else? I made a list. How pathetic is that that I'm making lists of things to talk about now? That's how shot my brain is. I swear it's not the drinking. Or the drugs. Actually, it might be the drinking. Wait, no it's not. Because my roommate decided to drink most of my Bacardi. I'm able to pull a sparrow on this. But why is the rum gone? Well, I paid your rent. Why is the rum gone? Uh, moron. I'm probably I'm going to try to kick him out, but he's better friends with the landlord than I am. Me not friends with authority? What a surprise. Um, anything else important on this list? Hmm, not really. Oh, people want to know who I, what I think about the Oscars. I don't really care. I haven't seen really any of the films. And if Whedon isn't nominated for anything, then I have no business seeing anything. Yeah, let me know when Buffy is nominated. <laughs> let me know when The Avengers is nominated for something. Um, but other than that, I take a backseat to that kind of thing. I'm the man in the back of the Oscars party, usually with a drink in hand and a comment in his mouth. 
Um, but that's for a later date. Um, I know you'll be watching. Bah, bah. That's it. Have a great night. I'm going to polish this off, what's left of it. Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum gone? Roommates. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.